The Tudor cell tumours are a type of sex called stromal cell tumour. They are fairly rare, accounting for around 1% of all testicular tumours. They are usually unilateral with a median age of 39, but 30% occur in the first decade. Some Sotoli cell tumours produce oestrogen, resulting in 20% of them presenting with gynaecomastia, and a number of them may also present with impotence. But the usual presentation is of a testicular mass. The majority of Sotoli cell tumours are benign, but around 10% have malignant behaviour. Another thing worth mentioning is that there may be an association between Perth-Jäger syndrome and some Sertoli cell tumours. The average size of a Sertoli cell tumour is around 3.5 cm with a range of 2 to 5 cm. They are well demarcated tumours and are often lobulated with a tan, yellow or grey cut surface. Histologically, Sertoli cell tumours have a number of different patterns, but the key pattern is tubule formation. They may also form nests, there may be retiform areas, there may be cords that may or may not have lumina. The cells have moderate amounts of pink cytoplasm, and the nuclei may be regular, round, oval or polygonal, and have small nucleoli. Another feature that is seen in some Sotelli cell tumours is sclerosis, and if this is pronounced then the term sclerosing Sotelli cell tumour is sometimes used. This is a low power view of a Sotelli cell tumour and you can see it is quite well demarcated from the adjacent testicular parenchyma. This area shows good tubule formation typical of Sertoli cell tumours. In this area the tumour shows prominent cord formation and many of the cords contain lumina. This part of the Sertoli cell tumour shows a striking resemblance to Rita testis and this is a nice example of the retiform pattern that can be seen in Sertoli cell tumours. On high power this Sertoli cell tumour shows the typical nuclear features with rather small nucleoli, ovalish nuclei and moderate amounts of pink staining cytoplasm. Immunocharacteristics include inhibin positivity in around 50% of cases, beta catenin, calretinin, WT1, S100, melan A, cytokeratin, cremogranin and synaptophysin may be positive as well. This Sertoli cell tumour has been stained for inhibin and this is negative. But this same tumour shows strong positive staining with the AE1, AE3. As with other sex cord stromal tumours, it is difficult to predict how the tumour will behave histologically. However, there are a number of clues that may give one an indication of behaviour. For example, with Sertoli cell tumours a large size, i.e. greater than 5 cm, vascular invasion, a tumour that is poorly circumscribed, nuclear polymorphism, and large nuclei and a mitotic rate of more than five mitotic figures per 10 high power fields are all associated with an increased risk of malignant behavior. In contrast to Leydig cell tumors where malignant ones tend to occur in adulthood, malignant Sertoli cell tumors may occur in childhood. Another feature that is sometimes associated with malignant behavior is the presence of gynecomastia. It is said that sclerosing Sertoli cell tumours are associated with more benign behaviour, especially those less than 2 cm across. And this is an example of a sclerosing Sertoli cell tumour with an abundant fibrous stroma.